planning to do a K24 swap on your BMW E46, but feeling a bit lost on where to start, let me guide you through the whole process. Swapping a K24 engine into an E46 is no walk in the park, mainly because of the differences between the K-Series and E46 chassis. You'll need to get your hands dirty with some custom fabrication work since there isn't much support out there for this type of swap on the E46. Now, let's dive into the main hurdles you'll face. Firstly, the oil pump sits right above the steering rack, so you'll have to do some tweaking to the subframe and move the steering rack forward to accommodate the K-Series engine. Another option would be switching to the E46-9 subframe, but that means changing to the E46-9 steering rack assembly and control arm and setting up two mounts for the front of the NIAC subframe. On the flip side, you could consider going for a dry sump system to lower the engine position, which would save you from having to mess around with the steering components or swap out the subframe. This alternative approach could definitely streamline the whole process for you. I hope this breakdown sheds some light on your K24 swap journey for the E46. Stay tuned for more updates on the parts I'm using for my build. And I'll also share some alternative parts for the swap. Big shout out to all of you for sticking around and being patient with me throughout this build. We're almost at the finish line. Just need to focus on the exhaust system, reinforcing the chassis, and giving the suspension and brakes a refresh.